Hello everyone, I hope and wish you all are doing good. This is the first time it's happening on my YouTube channel. I'm introducing a life-changing interview series where me and my team will host an interview of different people who have already achieved a lot in their careers. This way you can learn from them, from their experiences and apply into your careers to achieve a great success. The first ever interview is about fitness industry, especially for those people who wants to become a personal trainer. My first guest on this life-changing interview series is Mr. Manish Rohel, who's been into this fitness industry from last 12 years. Whatever I'm gonna say for him, it's gonna be very less. He's a certified personal trainer, a certified fitness nutritional specialist, a qualified Queen Kong trainer, master trainer of Kettlebell in level one, level two. He is a Kettlebell athlete who represented India on many international stages. List is endless. Let me introduce Mr. Manish Rohel. It's a promise to self to be better every day. Let's start our first interview. Question that I want to ask you, like, how do you define a personal trainer? What is personal trainer for you? Uh, as for me, personal trainer is a person who helps his or her client to achieve their specific fitness goals and also help them understand uh, what is the meaning of balanced nutrition depending on the qualification and education <clears throat> um, and also tries to help them find out balance between training and their lifestyle. Perfect. Yeah, that's what personal trainer means for me. So, if you want to tell me a little in Hindi, then... Just like your life is your life, your lifestyle is your lifestyle, just keep in mind that what you have to train वो एक अच्छा पर्सनल ट्रेनर होता है तो मैं सिर्फ पर्सनल ट्रेनर के लिए नहीं मैं अच्छे पर्सनल ट्रेनर के लिए बता रहा हूं सो so, इसका एग्जांपल भी दे सकता हूं फॉर एन एग्जांपल इफ समबडी अ क्लाइंट हैज अ वेरी हेक्टिक लाइफस्टाइल बहुत मतलब वो 12 घंटे काम करता है या करती है और उसका पर्सनल ट्रेनर उस 12 घंटे के बाद उसको बड़ी ही टफ ट्रेनिंग कराता है एंड द पर्सन इज नॉट फीलिंग गुड आफ्टर द ट्रेनिंग सो आई आई से दैट इज नॉट अ गुड एग्जांपल ऑफ बीइंग अ पर्सनल ट्रेनर so considering the lifestyle of the person and training them accordingly is the job of a personal trainer. Yeah, perfect. Because it depends on the uh, on the day as well, right? How he or she is feeling on that day, and uh, yeah. then accordingly plan on that day. Yeah. That's what so most likely. Yes, if somebody has a hectic job, twelve-hour job, ten-hour job, they like to enjoy and relax at the end of the day and not being hammered by the personal trainer. That's true. That's absolutely they true. They want to get results, but they probably do not want to be trained really hard every day. <clears throat> the next question that I have is, uh, the, what is the role of personal trainer? See, nowadays, personal trainer is a very vast concept. You know, it includes um, a person who trains you physically, who understands uh, the kind of that you eat, obviously, depending on the qualification of the personal trainer you know, who follows up with you on a regular basis, if you are achieving your fitness goal or not, or if you are following a good action plan to achieve your goals or not. So following up is also an important role of a personal trainer. <clears throat> a personal trainer plays an important part in client's life because even though if you are training a client for four hours, five hours a week, <clears throat> uh, you will have to make sure that only those five hours are not the hours when you're paying attention. Right? You should give time attention to them. You should follow them with them. Do you have nutrition good or not? Do you have a good recovery? Today, I didn't have my training with you. So, what I said to you to train you to train you, did you do or not? So, these sort of follow-ups keep your members on track. <clears throat> That's so we really have to get into the life of the clients, members, students, and change their lifestyle and drive it more towards, uh, you know, 
something that allows them to achieve their physical results so is there anything else that uh, you want to add in the role of personal trainer like what are the things that they they need to take care when they are into you know into this job because mm-hmm. as you know this mm-hmm. job is not easy it looks easy but it's not easy so yeah. <clears throat> is there anything else that you want to add yeah so there's a lot of things that i can add but for now i can just say you know paying undivided attention to your client when you're training them yeah meaning not being busy on your phone not paying attention to what somebody else is doing but paying attention to your client is really important that's the role of a personal trainer okay uh, and what i've learned from my teacher mr steve cotter is <clears throat> from ikff he says that if you are charging 50 dollars per hour from a client give them a worth of at least 200 dollars or 100 dollar per hour so that they see the value in the money that they are investing in their health and they continue to train with you and also bring more members new members to your business following up um you know training their client training their clients giving them value for the money giving them undivided attention uh, also you know making notes of what their clients are doing so admin is also a job of a personal trainer so i need to know that i had trained ujwal in january 2020 this year and his squat was 50 kilograms and he did 10 reps so if i want to compare his performance in the month of june same 2020 year i should be able to compare and that can only be done if i write down what he is doing or at least okay. make my client responsible to note down these things <clears throat> mm-hmm. number 3 so mm-hmm. jo trainer abhi start karna chahte hain for them what is the best course that they need to start with especially to come into this industry बहुत सारे कोर्स हैं इस टाइम मार्केट के अंदर मैं पर्सनली बोलूंगा दैट ट्रेनर्स कैन स्टार्ट देयर करियर विद समथिंग नोन एज बी पी एड विच इज बैचलर्स इन फिजिकल एजुकेशन एंड आफ्टर बी पी एड देर इज मास्टर्स ऑफ फिजिकल एजुकेशन यू नो दे हैव थ्री इयर्स कोर्स वेर दे टीच यू बोथ थ्योरी एंड प्रैक्टिकल दे एक्चुअली मेक यू गो थ्रू प्रैक्टिकल सो दे गिव यू इन डेप्थ नॉलेज अबाउट यू नो हाउ डू यू नीड टू ट्रेन योर पीपल um if you want to go internationally then you can go for um a course such as certified personal training course which is um run by organizations such as american council on exercises um american college of sports and medicine acsm <clears throat> yeah you know then there's another organization that's known as issa isa so you can go register yourself pay the fee study either in an institute like classic fitness academy which is one of the best academies in india um or do a self study and take your exam so i if i have to give it to you in nutshell it can be bpa it can be an mpa uh, it can be an a certified cpt uh, it can be an acm acsm certified cpt <clears throat> so that a trainer has minimum knowledge or uh, you know is good enough to make sure that the client he or she is going to train are going to be safe and they are going to get efficient training number 4 uh, what are the three factors that everyone needs to keep in mind jab wo is is profession mein aane especially because ye dur se bahut hi acha profession dikhta hai you know glamour hai ye hai wo hai but what you want to say to that people like top three factors that they need to keep in mind yeah so i would say um three things that they have to keep in mind is first it, that you know a person so this is point 1 which includes two points the person has to be hard working and also really disciplined because the job of a personal trainer is not to only train people is also to train himself or herself <clears throat> yeah right because if we do not lead by example we cannot ask our clients to follow our footsteps that's true yeah. so that's first thing second we have already spoken about in bits and pieces when i spoke about education yeah so i just add on to that before they start their career they should do you know minimum qualification course which can keep their clients safe and they can still train them efficiently 
yet at the same time they should keep on studying every year at least one or two side by side courses which enhances which enhance their knowledge yeah okay so there are different sort of modalities which are present um in fitness industry as, as yeah. it keeps changing so we have to keep learning about them so that we can keep ourselves up to date with the latest information <clears throat> that's true that's true so that is the second thing which means ongoing education is really important third thing is that we'll have to find balance because a lot of uh, people think that training hard is the only way and training hard is the only method to train people which is incorrect you know training somebody depending on their lifestyle depending on their stress levels depending on their recovery time and their nutrition is the best choice a personal trainer can make so you have studied you have qualified you are doing courses every year and upgrading yourself knowledge wise but when you go to the ground the ground reality is how do you actually train a person yeah are you worsening their situation by training them hard or are you actually helping them as not only a personal trainer but i'll use this term a fitness professional or a health uh, coach so that is really important these are the three things so the next question is according to you continuing education in this profession kitna important hai like because uh, we uh, we see that you know the courses are not cheap how much they need to save <clears throat> from their pay like you know monthly basis so that they can do a course one or two courses in a year what do you suggest them like how they can save that for that course so i'll first answer that yes um, according to me what is the importance i would say it is extremely extremely important for a personal trainer to keep upgrading himself and herself on a regular basis if you do not want to do two courses every year after your certified personal training course you can minimum minimum can do one course every year <clears throat> and it doesn't ma- matter how expensive it is i can tell you a course in india on an average if it's a two day course or if it's a one day course it usually costs with tax on an average so i'm not picking a course i'm giving an average number is around 15 to 20000 yeah okay and i'm quite sure about one thing depending on the number of clients obviously and how much you earn per month if you give yourself a target of saving 15 to 20000 every year just to do one course you will be successful enough as a personal trainer 15 to 20000 you know personally you know um, i don't think it's a big amount for any personal training who's a personal trainer uh depending obviously on the focus if you have right focus and you know that you have to do a course every year once you will be able to save that money which means you can save money from spending on an expensive phone you know or probably buying three different pairs of expensive shoes you can probably buy one for a year maybe two pairs of shoes every year and save some money and invest towards your studies <clears throat> because phone is a liability shoes is a liability it's not giving you anything but education is going to help you uh, reacquire your money so you can increase the cost of your personal training you can uh, you know charge your member more telling them that i'm more qualified now <clears throat> but an expensive shoe probably wouldn't allow you to let you charge your member more money yeah and you probably. should only increase the fee when you qualify yourself or certify yourself in something new not just yeah. like that you know <clears throat> that's true and that's the yeah. best way that you can tell your member right that uh, now i'm certified with this so that's mm. the reason that i'm increasing the price as well so that can be one yeah. of the reasons as well right yeah absolutely it's it has to be uh, to be understood by the clients otherwise they will leave you so if i'm training somebody i tell them you know every year twice i'm increasing price they would not stay with me but if i i have told them most likely i will increase my price every financial year once but i'll also make sure that i qualify myself with something new then yeah. they don't mind and by the way they still ask me the price kyun bada rahe ho aap mehanga kyun kar rahe ho so main unko bolta maine ye course kiya main aapko iske upar bhi train kara sakta hu so they agree agar main aise hi price bada raha hu wo bolenge sir aapne to kuch kiya nahi aap aise hi price badhaye ja rahe ho ek baar shayad chup reh jaye dusri baar chup reh jaye teesri baar bolenge sir bye 
<laughs> enough yeah, yeah i know that happens yeah, with uh, with a lot of children but this is a part of life we have to grow ourselves so we have to keep learning mm-hmm. new things so mm-hmm. the next question that i have is mm-hmm. other than personal training what other profession is in this fitness industry like aur kya kya wo kar sakte hain like other than the personal training so once again depending on the zeal of learning ki kon kitna padhna chahta hai ya seekhna chahta hai uske upar depend karta hai so i have seen personal trainers who are only personal trainers from last 12 years 15 years who were senior yeah. to me when i joined um and <clears throat> i've also seen personal trainers who joined after me but they have really educated themselves and they have made a better version of themselves now some of them are also working outside of india you know yeah. and getting paid dollars and they are making good amount of money they have their own accommodation outside of india so i'm really really proud of them <clears throat> um and i'm really happy for where they are today yeah um your question is what else can they do you can you know now there are a lot of courses available so such as if you are done with your certified personal training course okay or equal unto that like bp ed or mp ed then you have courses such as fitness nutrition specialist <clears throat> yeah okay you have courses such as weight management specialist okay you have courses such as older adult exercise specialist where you can train old people uh, yeah. you have specialists such as pre and post partum exercises for females so yeah. there's a lot of specialties that you can do but yes you have to study you have to invest then you have yeah. to take exam not only if you pass you are qualified or certified to help those to help that that you know portion of the population to train them accordingly uh one of the most you know uh renowned courses nowadays is health coach by american american council on exercise so yeah. that is really well known uh, a lot of uh, you know students a lot of uh, trainers like to do cscs by nasm yeah. so uh, yeah that's one of the course that that trainers are looking forward to so they can become strength and conditioning coach so you can do a lot more than only being a personal trainer yeah you can also become an rd if you qualify to study for rd which is registered dietitian yeah you know so everything depends if you want to be all of these it would require number of years of studies and education and time if you want to be one of these or you know two of these then you know you can achieve your goal but i would say you know give a goal of you know one course every year and keep growing yourself up <laughs> according to you how the fitness industry is changing like you are into this industry from so many years like how the industry has changed and what you can see in future how the things are coming in future i've seen a lot of things coming and going yeah um so when i was a trainer when i started as a trainer i knew selected people who were internationally certified you could count them you know you could count them that these are the trainers across india who are certified yeah. and they are allowed to so we i used to look up to them at that time yeah then came a time by the time i studied and i you know i did courses that i wanted to do so i stand today here in fitness industry from last 12 and a half years plus now <laughs> you, you don't even know like every other trainer is a qualified and a you know certified trainer you know legit which means yeah. either they are bp ed or they are mp ed or they are a certified cpt and then they are doing courses such as cscs so now there is a big competition in the market back then in 2008 when i joined and when we had selected people you know you can count them on fingertips they were certified uh there were no courses such as you know upgradation courses like now we have trigger point therapy course we have viper we have trx we have bosu we have kettlebell we have olympic lifting training we have crossfit we have um i don't know a, a lot of other courses available right now both physical and uh, theoretical but now in the last 
12 and a half years, industry has changed so much that there is a vast competition. Okay. You know, there are a lot more courses available right now than they were at, um, they were in, in the year 2008 when I started. Yeah. So there is a big change. There's a big difference that has happened. Okay. At back then, Trainers were not really evolving. Like they were, they were in their net shell and you know, they would be happy that I'm qualified one course, done, I'm happy for the rest of my life. Yeah. Yeah. But now trainers want to learn. They are ready to explore. They're ready to challenge themselves physically. And I'm so happy to see that trainers now um, even are competing outside of India in both stage competitions such as, you know, uh, physique athlete, bikini athlete for females, <clears throat> um, kettlebell athletes, um, CrossFit, you know, games. So such, such things have happened over the period of years. So there is a big, big change uh, from 2008 up until now, 12 years plus. Thank you for uh, giving us the view of uh, this industry because we know that you are here from last 12, 13 years and you are doing the same, you're doing this, and you did a lot of things in between this. I know personally, yeah. so because I I work under you, I work with you, so I know how how you work mm -hmm. and how you manage things. So thank you yeah. again for sharing your experience. Yeah, we always work together. It was privileged to have you working with me because you're an honest person. And one of the traits that I look forward uh, in a person who I want to work with, that the person has to be honest and has to be respectful because it, it's a give and take relationship. So we always work together. Nobody works under anybody, I believe. Thank you, yeah. thank you. What are the best training? Because we usually heard this question. Which training is best for weight loss, ke liye, you know, weight gain? How do you want to understand them? Like, what is the best training? Ye is training se ho jayega, ye ho because these are the questions, like, the first question is the memory. Ka. So how you will take a I have to say, uh, you know, which training is the best training because, you know, over the period of time, as much as I've seen, it's really, really tough to answer. Yeah. Um, the reason behind that is personally experiencing all the trainings that I've experienced so far, they all have their pluses. Uh, they all have their advantages, which are different from the other trainings. So for an example, if somebody says, I want to gain lean muscle mass and my core my uh, aim is hypertrophy so i would say you know going to a gym and lifting up um, good weight and doing conventional weight training would be a good option for you yep. to be able to uh, you know increase your lean muscle mass and increase the volume <clears throat> of your body uh, somebody says that I want to become an endurance sports athlete. So, you know, I would tell them they can head towards CrossFit uh, whenever they have their endurance based classes, they can head towards uh, such as something such as uh, 10 kilometer run, 15 kilometer run, 20 kilometer run. These are endurance based activities. Uh, lately, a lot of great Indian athletes have uh, participated in Ironman. Yep. You know, where they have to swim for, I think, close to four kilometers, 3.8, if I'm not wrong. They also have to ride bicycle for 180.2 kilometers. And they then have to run for 42.2 kilometers. So all that has to be done. So these are the things, you know, um, which are there as an option. Personally, I play, play kettlebell sport, um, which is a power endurance game depending on the kind of lift that you're doing. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's really tough to say and favor one sort of training and demean the other. Every training has its own benefits. So resistance training conventionally is different from Olympic lifting. Olympic lifting is different from uh, people who want to run marathon. Uh, people who run marathon are different from people who play kettlebell sport. People who play kettlebell sport are different from people who compete in Ironman. So they all are working towards fitness. Everybody's working towards some or other part of the fitness, components of fitness. But yeah. they are taking different ways. Yeah. We have different methods. Yeah. So 
But if I have to give you my opinion, I would say set a goal, achieve it, and then try something new. Set a goal, achieve it, try something new. I, I will just give you a quick example. You know, like we had a chat earlier and when I posted lately on Facebook and on Instagram that this was my last ride in the month of July, a yeah. lot of friends and you know, people who follow me, they said, why are you stopping? You're good at it. You should not stop, continue. But what they need to understand, and I told them is that these were my goals for two months. June and July were my goals, were my months to, you know, start riding, achieve my 150 kilometer goal and then move on. So from tomorrow on, August is starting. So I have new fitness goals out of which one is to compete in the IKMF half marathon, you know, doing a snatch for 30 minutes with a 24 kilogram hand switch. And there's one more secret goal, which I'll do on August 15th, but I'll, I'll keep posting everyone about it later once I've achieved it. <clears throat> So change your goal, explore, and give your body different challenges on a regular basis. In yeah. nutshell, basically, uh, you need to know your goal. And mm -hmm. every training has a different benefit. So mm -hmm. if your goal is something that you want to achieve, must gain muscles, then you have to train like that way. So it depends on their goals, right? That's, there are people like who wants to start freelancing. Freelancing, you know, like basically they want to go their home and they want to train there. So mm -hmm. what is the minimum amount that they need to set to start a freelancing? Like, is there any minimum mm -hmm. amount that they need to set? Or like, is there any standard like in fitness industry that they need to set? Or how you set the amount? Mm -hmm. How do I fix the personal training fees? What you mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like a, a freelancing uh, fee per session. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a really good question. I think, um, you know, it depends. Uh, depending on the geographical condition where you yeah. stay. Uh, I don't know if this video will only be watched by Indians or I'm sure it will be watched by people outside of the country. Sure. It, it is going to be different um, depending on which country do you stay, what is the paying power of the people, most importantly, how qualified and educated and experienced you are to be able to charge a certain amount. You understand what I'm saying? <clears throat> yeah. So if you are a new kid, and you know you have just recently uh, taken your exam and you have passed your um, uh, CPT course or you have come out of university by completing your BP it then you know you want to fix your charge depending like I said depending on the paying power of the people you understand what I mean so if my paying power is <clears throat> uh, you know thousand rupees per hour and somebody is charging me or wants to charge me 3000 rupees per hour. So there's no match. So yeah. I would rather want to go for a trainer to who I can pay thousand rupees per hour. Yeah. Okay. It's, a, it's a very subjective question. That's why I probably wouldn't have a very black and white answer to it. Whereas if somebody is really well experienced, like holding an experience of three to four years, uh, plus has done three to four courses, very well known, you know, and uh, he wants to charge rupees 3000 per hour, people would be happy to pay him or her that amount because yeah. that person worths it. So uh, technically talking, depending on the words that you create in your market, be you are new, be, be you are old, you'll have to charge your clients. But it has to be practical. It has to be something that suits you depending on your worth but also it has to suit your clients majority of the clients to be able to pay you on a regular basis perfect but it has to yeah. be same right for every client you have to be same yeah so that is a very valid point that your your yeah. your pdf has to be same for all the clients which means you cannot end up charging <clears throat> a lot more money you know to one client and to other you're charging less because the moment they get to know that you know we are charging different sort of amount uh, because one has more paying power and the other one has less paying power they would be upset yeah. that's true and once, upset, and once once they get to know you know then it becomes slightly tough uh, for them to make understand to make them understand that why what was the reason that we were charging a different amount yeah, yeah. thank you the next question is what is your favorite training like what kind of training you like it and you love it and you know, 
that's yeah. that's the training that you want to do it yeah so uh, you already know i think because we have trained and worked together for so long and we've been friends more like brothers uh my favorite mode of training is endurance based kettlebell training <clears throat> um yeah so it has a lot of impact on my physical strength and i would not say only mine on the physical strength of the people who do train on kettlebell yeah and just like all other sports it teaches you a lot of discipline in your life <clears throat> yeah the other thing that has changed in me is my mental strength yeah so you know when you are under the load you would know and anybody who plays kettlebell sport who knows when you are under the load and you are stressed and there are 500 people looking at you performing and you are gasping for air and you still have to move on for 5 minutes when your body is freezing all you have to do is take deep breaths forget about everybody around you and still keep moving so it teaches you a lot of it gives you a lot of mental strength and also obviously it changes your body physically yeah so my favorite sort of training is kettlebell sport training though yeah. i also though i also respect all other modes of training you know i have a lot of respect and value for them perfect even my my favorite is uh, kettlebell <laughs> i know in my life you introduced the kettlebell but uh, after that it's my favorite yeah i'm sure good i'm really happy we miss you sometimes while playing uh, the game since 2018 played last yeah. together <laughs> so the last question that i have is like this 2020 is a hit for everyone right so yeah. especially in, like we don't know like what is coming in future like if something happen the same way like in 2020 they say abhi hua so how you you suggest them you know is time ko kaise utilize kare like uh, as a money wise because everyone is hit with this uh, pandemic thing so yeah. we don't so know i know the time the times are tough ujwal brother but you see we have to become an adapter you know we'll have to turn ourselves as per the situation you know uh, one of the quotes of bruce lee he says that you should be like water and you need to you need to know how to flow and change yourself you know so be like water uh, however resilience is something that you can learn with time depending on your experience yeah uh, yeah i would also say that how can you use this time so you can actually do all those things that you were not able to do when things were normal examples before uh, march 2020 when there was no pandemic there was no covid 19 at least in india i'm talking about i know in china it had been there since november 2019 yeah so people would say oh i cannot you know study because i have a lot of pts i don't have no time for studies okay cool oh i cannot train because i have so much work i get tired and exhausted by the day i i really cannot train um i cannot spend time with my family members because i'm busy all the time you know i cannot do cooking and cleaning i cannot do meal prep you know like clean eating preparation because i'm so busy so even then i knew that these were all excuses you will always do things which are the most important for you okay what you can do right now is this you can make a regime of training and even if it's body weight training give yourself 6 hours of training every week okay it is a lot better than being totally idle and immobile okay if you did not have time to study back then because you were too busy well now you have no excuse because you have time to study okay if you did not have time to spend time with your family members now you have time stay with them talk to them you know leave your uh, mobile phone or your tabs or your computer because real people are a lot more important in your life than this virtual world you know yeah. you know there is also a saying that you can have 2000 or 5000 friends on facebook or on any other social media platform and a lot of followers but who would really stand with you in your tough time your tough time your family members the people who love you the most and if they love you the most will stand by you always that's okay true. that's absolutely true. all this social media thing can wait um 
um, you know, if, if you were not, if you were not able to follow the hobby that you have had back then, now you can follow the hobby because you have time. If you did not have time to do meal prep because you were too busy, now is the time. Yeah. That's true. Um, also, you know, it's, it's just that, you know, I'm not making it up. I'm telling you the truth. So I actually have written a couple of points that I've done uh, at the time of COVID. I am going to make a post about it most likely after August. Yeah. But I'm, I'm sharing a couple of points with you. And I did use my time. In fact, I ended up doing a lot more in COVID-19 phase than my regular phases. Okay. So I did a fundraiser for Meals of Happiness where I raised money for underprivileged people. That was from April 1st till May 26th. So, yeah. you know, so many days went past while I was doing the fundraiser. Yeah. Then I did four Instagram lives. One was with Javed, then with Piyush brother, then Abhishek Chatterjee, and the last one was last Friday with Romy. Yeah. If I go, I have done one Instagram live every month. Yeah. Okay. And I've reached out to more people. Um, you know, I got um, together with Taz. You know, I joined hands with her to be a part of Excel Personal Training. Now we are, you know, running it 50-50, both of us. Yeah. Right. And the last thing that I want to tell you, because we've spoken about it, is, is that I kept right after the fundraiser, I gave myself a goal of 100 kilometer ride in the month of June. Yeah. Achieved it. Then I gave myself a goal of 150 kilometers ride in July. Achieved it. Now, August, definitely there are different goals, which I've spoken to you about, except yeah. one. So these are the things that I've there's a lot more that I've done, but I'm not telling you because I'm going to write down later. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. that's the usually uh, everyone, you know, we have excuse that we don't have time. We have PTs, we have a this, 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 and this. Now we have a time, mm. utilize this mm. time. So mm. that's the, the thing because I know I use this time the most. Like mm. I never use this time, like this kind of things that I did it. Like I started my mm. YouTube channel. I, I did three courses, three different courses to just upgrade myself. And then I started life, uh, life workout and something like that. So I mm. utilize this time a lot. So that's what we can, uh, we can say to other people like who wants to come into this industry or who are already into this industry. Like if mm. something happened in future, so we can utilize this time, like by studying, by training ourselves, by just keep betting better ourselves. Right. That's, that's what we can do. You're right. Yeah. And I'm so proud of you. Because I have seen a big shift in your, uh, you know, style of working ever since the COVID-19 thing has happened. I knew that, uh, I, I saw, not I knew, I'm sorry. I saw that you were getting onto YouTube. I remember your first message, subscribe to my channel. So you yeah. did something. You didn't just sit and cry, you know, that, oh my God, the world has come to an end. Because I'm telling you once again, I've said it on Facebook, I've said it on Instagram, and I'm telling you again. There had been times when we were hit by pandemics, even in the past. That's true. The only difference is we have not been through it. So we don't know. Yeah. Okay. This time will pass. This will finish. Okay. There will be a vaccine. Yep. There will be high bodies developed by human bodies after the vaccine is inside our system. Okay. And everything will be back to normal. And then what's going to happen is people will be like, oh shit, I did not make the use of the time properly. And then they're going to cry even for that. So I'm really happy. Uh, and I'm, I have a lot of respect for you and for all those people across the world who have tried utilizing this time to maximize their potential, including, including Taz, my business partner. We have done so much. We have done so much at this time. So well done. Keep on doing it. You know, uh, karma is really important, and you know, it, things will fall in place. That's things will absolutely fall. true. Yeah. So yeah. one bonus question for everyone. Uh, I you don't know about this. Yeah. But uh, the the last question is: Now the gyms are opening. Now the things are getting normal. Yeah. How the things is gonna be different? Because it's it's gonna be different in the starting, but it's gonna mm -hmm. we have to be keep patient. You know, because the industry is is changing, right? So, how are you gonna say this about this? Like, ab kya hone wala? 
that once the gym is open, how the things is going to change, mm-hmm. and how, what what are the things that we need to do? I would say what's going to happen. Yeah. Obviously, शुरू में लोग डरेंगे अभी जिम जाने से और बनता भी उनका डर ना. It's it's pretty ex- acceptable, you know, or expectable from them that everybody would be worried. and people are not all worried about their selves they know that if they get affected everybody else in the family will get affected yeah? so i am going to tell you one thing in fact the way it has fallen it is going to rise up by two times because all that has been held back by people for all these months and i know people who are into fitness you cannot hold them back so whatever damage has happened it is going to get better so the worst is over going to get over and it's going to improve from here on and at least twice as much and people will start to go to gym i know initially everybody everybody will be worried and scared but slowly and steadily uh, you know the sops will be released standard operating procedure for the gym and people will start to go and seeing them those who are going those who are not going they will also start to initiate to go okay that's true and i'm telling you like india is working hard to have a vaccine by august 15 most practically it should come out but if it doesn't to be on a very to be in a very uh, positive mind frame i'm telling you uh, when oxford comes out with a vaccine when moderna comes out with a vaccine then you will see that when people are given those vaccines and when we have entire bodies things will start to move normally everybody will go to the gym and then all that has been held back for these months would come out okay yeah, yeah. gyms are going to be more rushed than ever after this yeah. is over yeah training is going to go for a boom after all this is over yep yeah. yeah. people personal trainers professionally are going to be really successful after this is over and this is going to get over because it's not end of the world yeah but we have to be patient right <laughs> we have to be patient we have to endure we'll have to learn to endure this time don't give up you know whom servers watching this video i just want to tell you that wherever you are you have the potential in you you just have to have faith in yourself talk to yourself every day and then you're not going to go get through it thank you for sharing your experience on yeah. this platform and uh, the purpose of this as i mentioned that to help the people that who wants to come into this industry or who are already into this industry and they have some questions so with your experience they're going to learn something new i learned a lot of things from you and i'm keep learning from you every yeah. day every single day i saw your post i learned something new that the thing is going to grow every day again thank you so much Yes, so I want to say, and, yeah, rather thanks to you for you know making this effort and working so hard and thinking about actually thanks to you because you thought about what are the questions that trainers possibly could have, so yeah. you already could think what they are thinking and you were able to jot them down. So thanks to you uh, about learning. I always say that always have said that it's a two-way process. so yeah. the way you learn from me is the way i learn from you and i learn from everybody around me i may not say it that i'm learning from yeah. you but i do yeah. you know so that's that's what it is so great initiative by you i just want to uh, let you know that you're doing good keep growing and if there's more help that we can do together for our friends uh, who are into fitness industry i'll be more than happy to do that for you and for them perfect thank you so much once again Very- Uh, it was it was really nice talking to you have a good day ahead